How do you feel being here? Not that good, to be honest. Um, don't like pine forests anymore. I find it devastating to be here. Knowing that um, this is the last place my son came to, to go to work, and then he never came home. He'd always enjoyed being on the land. He was never the type of guy that would have ever had an inside job. There's not a lot around here in this town for labourers. Basically, forestry's it. He had been, he started on a skid, then breaking out, driving machinery, loaders. He had basically every ticket available to him. He worked hard, he played hard. He really liked working in the forestry. The comradeship, it was all a team effort. Back when he first started, he, I think he enjoyed it. Gone are the days where you worked eight hours and then over and above your eight hours was time and a half. Since individual contracts were brought in, um, we haven't really got much choice. There's normally 10 workers buying to take their place. He'd be gone by five o'clock in the morning. Sometimes he wouldn't get home till six o'clock at night. And quite often he'd do that six days a week. The kids used to think um, that Ken was playing with them and he would get them to walk, on, walk all over his back. But it was to relieve pain. He was in another occasion. He came home and he couldn't even walk through the gate and carry his chainsaw. Roger had to go out and carry his chainsaw in. I think he felt every day getting home and getting through the day um, was a bonus without getting injured. I don't know why it should be so dangerous, but I mean, three deaths in 18 months in this little area of forest, something's not right. Mm. There's forest owners and there's contractors. There's a lot of contractors out there now. They're all vying for um, the same contract. So the forest owners can pick and choose, really. The forest owners put pressure on the contractor. The contractor puts pressure on the workers. You've got to get so many trucks out a week. So many loads out. They've said that they will fulfil this contract um, by a certain time, at a certain price. And they want further contracts. With more forests being harvested, more contractors out there, it's getting harder and tighter for them to be able to do that. I knew he wasn't stupid and... and I knew he didn't take risks. Every time that helicopter came over our house, we would think it was him. I remember it was a, it was really, it was a higgledy piggledy week. Um, Things started to go wrong. Their machinery was broken into, and so that sort of held them up again. 
he has to stay ahead of the operation so that there's always wood on the ground for the other guys to be able to work. And it was expected of him too because he had a reputation. He got them their bonuses at the end of the week. He had started um, falling a tree and um, as the saw bit in, he realised then that it was rotten. As he had done on numerous, numerous times before. As we understand it, he moved to another tree to actually fall that tree on top of the rotten one and knock it over so it would lie in the position that he wanted it to. Just trying to pick up a whole lot of logs that are all crossed over is, is time consuming and dangerous. I think he was trying to do what he could for the workers that were going to follow him in there. Make it easier for the guys on the ground and safer. And um, when he had his back turned to the tree, when he was scarfing the one he wanted to drop, it just let go and came down. And it could have fallen in any other direction, but it just chose to fall where he was standing. And um, he never saw it coming. I dropped my paintbrush and painting in the garden, that was just like being hit between the shoulder blades with a sledgehammer. I couldn't, I couldn't tell her on the telephone. I had to find out where she was, track her down, and tell her, tell her face to face. most unfortunate. Oh, I was so angry because it proved to me that that's exactly what how they saw these guys was statistics and not people at all. There was no human factor in there. They came around um, to offer their condolences um, we got a bouquet of flowers and no further contact whatsoever. The report that's come out of the investigation into his death said that he's the architect of his, his own demise. Basically, what they're saying is that he killed himself. It would cost them a lot of money to to actually look after these forestry workers. That they just really put, portrayed to be a whole bunch of drug addicts because that's all they keep going on about is the drug and alcohol testing in the forestry and how, um, how wonderful it is well, to cover up Focus really. Focus away mm. from other safety issues that to this date have not been solved. After all, they're only forestry workers.